then you have to uh, just go with the flow. Continue to uh, be in your assemblies to try and use the good mind, the Ganigorio. On va essayer d'utiliser notre bon esprit, le Ganigorio, et uh, réellement uh, converger vers les, les plus beaux consensus uh, possibles. Um, let's try and converge to the best consensus as possible. I just like to mention this: that there's an elder that opened uh, for us on um, Tuesday evening. Stuart Mayo uh, Sr., who's in a vehicle, uh, y a un, l'aîné qui a ouvert pour nous uh, mardi soir, et dans un véhicule, ils vont ouvrir le festival Hoodstock pour la communauté noire de Montréal dans le parc Henri Bourassa, ici à Montréal Nord. So, our elder who has a hard time just walking up a stair as high as I'm standing on the stage is still, and uh, they've had, uh, you know, family, their, their dog was. They're, they're kind of hassled, the traditional people, in their native territory. They're always, always having to deal with things in the middle of the night. And sometimes dogs go missing or dogs get hurt. He's a very, if you've ever met the family, you'd know that they have the most exceptional, exceptional, uh, um, uh, I guess, uh, peace and, and uh, loving spirit. So they're going to go share that with the people at the Hoodstock Festival in Montreal North. So to, to just say, Nyawagoa. Goa again is big. Skana Goa, peace, big, paix, enorme. But Nyawa Goa, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Alors, bonjour. Euh, bonjour à tout le monde. Merci d'être ici pour, euh, pour l'Agora du FSN 2016. Hi everyone, uh, thank you for being here at the Agora of the Initiative for Another World of the World Social Forum 2016. My name is Sarah. Hola a todos, eh, bienvenidos a la, a la, el día de la hora de las iniciativas del Foro Social Mundial. Mi nombre es Carminda. Et mon nom est Raphaël. Désolé, j'ai oublié de me présenter. On est ici pour... Euh, Pour répondre à une question simple, qu'est-ce qu'on fait après cet événement qui a eu lieu Le Forum Social Mondial, c'est pas juste un événement où on se rassemble et on a du plaisir, c'est un processus qui met les gens ensemble pour construire des alternatives. We are gathered here today to answer one simple question. What are we going to do now to, make, to change the world The World Social Forum, it's an event, yes, but it's also a process that will bring us to elaborate on initiatives and actions that we will start doing as of today. Estamos aquí hoy reunidos y reunidas para contestar a una, pre una pregunta bastante simple. Y ahora, ¿qué hacemos? El Foro Social Mundial es un espacio, pero también un proceso en el que se tienen que reforzar las iniciativas de acción en el futuro. Donc, durant ces, ces trois jours précédents d'activité, il y a eu plus d'un millier d'ateliers, il y a eu des assemblées de convergence, il y a eu plus d'un millier de groupes qui se sont rassemblés pour élaborer ensemble des stratégies d'action. In this last week that you all took part in, we had more than a thousand, a thousand activities, self-managed activities. We had convergence assemblies, we had grand conferences, different spaces were created for groups, organizations, collectives, and individual participants to reflect together on action plans and act initiatives for the for the, the new world. Durante la última semana, hemos tenido más de mil talleres. Eh, Hemos tenido eh, asambleas de convergencia, eh, grandes conferencias, eh, todo eso para eh, tratar de pensar en las iniciativas que vamos a llevar para el futuro. Donc, ce qu'on va faire aujourd'hui à l'Agora, c'est l'objectif, c'est de partager avec l'ensemble des participants du forum présents ce matin et aujourd'hui toutes les initiatives d'action et les plans qui ont été discutés dans les ateliers et dans les assemblées de convergence et s'engager et proposer des opportunités des possibilités d'engagement à tous les citoyens d'ici et d'ailleurs qui veulent changer le monde So one of the objectives today of this Agora is to share the different initiatives that were created and think about during the week of the World Social Forum 
But also what is important today is that we, all of us, start to commit to these initiatives and actions that will evolve during the day. Eh, lo que vamos a sacar hoy día son eh, diferentes iniciativas y acción que fueron conversadas en las asambleas de convergencia. Y una vez más lo que es fundamental hoy día es decir cómo vamos a hacer para nosotros implicarnos en las diferentes acciones que se están llevando. Alors, ¿cómo se va a desarrollar? Bueno, es lo que vous propose. Y ha fallu composer con la pluie, donc, on a ces dos grandes chapitos. On a eu euh, ce qu'on va faire ce matin. Il y a 11 cercles de discussion qui sont disposés dans les deux tentes. So now we're going to we're going to explain to you how what's the methodology that we're going to propose for the activity this morning. So first of all, there's 11 discussion circles that have been installed in the different tents. So this is not tent number two, and the other tent is tent number one. Vamos a explicar ahora lo que va a suceder ahora en la mañana. Eh, en las dos tiendas que ven aquí hay 11 círculos. Esta es la tienda número 2 y la otra es la tienda número 1. Pueden ver eh, la, los papeles que están en la pared que indican cuál es la asamblea de convergencia que corresponde a cada círculo. Donc, il y a eu 22 asambleas de convergence. On a decidido de pour faciliter la méthodologie en fonction de l'espace, de diviser en deux, deux moments ce matin les cercles de discussion. Donc, il y a 11 thèmes, 11 thèmes discutés dans les assemblées de convergence qui, sont, qui forment les cercles dans lesquels vous êtes assis. Si vous regardez sur les murs, les thèmes sont écrits, mais on va vous les rappeler à partir du plan que nous avons. Je le dis maintenant C'est bon Alors, on est dans l'attente 1. Je vais vous les expliquer ici. Marchandisation, accès aux services publics. Le prochain, droit à l'éducation. Le troisième, extractivisme, libre-échange. Ici, migration. Marchandisation, migration, c'est écrit sur les murs. Campagne BDS, commerce équitable, regardez sur les murs. Okay, so, so we, we try to we, we try to list you the the uh, convergence assemblies. So there was 22 convergence assemblies that were organized this week during the forum uh, by different co uh, coalition of groups. Uh, how we're going to do every circle here is a circle representing one of these those assemblies. We will work in two series. First series, you will have 11 assemblies to choose. You can choose one for one hour and a half. And then we're going to do a second series series where you can choose another assembly. For the listing of it, like uh, you, you can go check on the wall. Uh, and if you do not find your assembly, it's on the second part. And on the uh, each um, welcoming booth, you will have the map if you cannot find your assembly of convergence. Entonces, vamos a tener dos rondas. La primera va a tener 11 asambleas y la segunda tiene 11 también. Así que si no encuentran sus asambleas ahora, significa que está en la segunda ronda. Esto es para facilitar la logística y también para, para facilitar la convergencia. On n'a pas dit la même chose en français, en anglais, en español. Mais il y a 6 y a six cercles ici. Les temas son sur les murs. Il y en a 5 dans l'autre tente. Si votre assemblée n'est pas dans ceux qui sont écrits là, c'est qu'ils vont être dans la deuxième ronde, dans une heure trente. Donc on va discuter pendant cette, la matinée. Les animateurs d'assemblée vont présenter ce qu'ils ont fait pendant une première demi-heure et ensuite on va discuter avec les gens qui sont là le plan d'action qui est proposé. Euh, juste avant de commencer, euh, je parle en français puis me mauto traduire euh, ou Raphaël va me traduire. Euh, donc, euh, avant de commencer, juste quelques points euh, par rapport à comment est-ce qu'on veut que les discussions aient lieu aujourd'hui. Donc, premièrement, nous reconnaissons que nous sommes en territoire non cédé Mohawk ici. Donc, euh, voilà. Ensuite, pour ce qui est de euh, l'espace qu'on a créé ici, on souhaiterait que ce soit un espace sécuritaire pour tous et toutes. Donc, s'il vous plaît, faites attention à votre façon de vous exprimer, au ton de voix que vous utilisez. 
essayer aussi peut-être de féminiser vos interventions. Donc, c'est le genre de choses qu'on essaye d'instaurer comme culture au Forum social mondial, donc pour que tout se fasse dans le respect. Eh, vamos a decir algunos, eh, algunos, eh, los principios que animan, creemos que deberían animar esta, eh, este momento. Primero que todo, reconocemos que estamos en un territorio no cedido autóctono, indígena, Mohawk. Eh, y nosotros queremos que ese sea un espacio seguro y conf confortable para todo el mundo. Así que invitamos a todo el mundo a tener cuidado del tono que utilizamos eh, y también a... Eh, Feminizar nuestras intervenciones. Just translate this in English. Uh, first of all, we rec recognize that we are non-ceded uh, Mohawk territory right now. Uh, also, we, about the space we created, we want that the space can be safe for anyone here to be able to express what they want to express. So please be careful at the words you use, the the the, the tone you use and uh, try to alternate, uh, not monopolize the conversation, and if you want, please, to feminize your intervention also. Um, thank you. Et juste pour finir, et après on vous laisse travailler, puis c'est vous qui parlerez. Là, c'est des discussions thématiques, et cet après-midi, à partir de 13h, peut-être 14h, parce qu'on a déjà une heure de retard, ce sera des présentations plénière, donc on sera tous ici et les, les propositions d'action qui ont émané de chacune des assemblées et des initiatives qui auront été proposées seront présentées ici du micro à l'ensemble des participants et participantes et on construira le calendrier des actions qui auront été proposées. Donc c'est votre travail qui va être présenté globalement et qui va construire ce calendrier sur ce mur. So just to finish the explanation part before we let we give you the, 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 the speech, the time to talk, uh, how the second part of the afternoon will be the a period where we can you're going to present to the to all the participants uh, what's going to emerge from your discussion circles. So it's important to have someone in your circle that is uh, noted that will come talk and present the initiatives and the action plans that were that evolved in your circle. And then at the end of the day, we're going to start building together the shared calendar of action plans. En lo, que, lo que vamos a hacer ahora en la mañana va a ser seguido en la tarde por un momento plenario en el que la gente, ustedes van a poder eh, eh, demostrar o decir sus iniciativas. Eh, así que vamos a empezar más o menos esto entre una y dos de la tarde para que, la, para que todo el mundo pueda presentarse. Eh, es importante sacar... Eh, iniciativas concretas porque después se van a se van a poner en el, en el calendario social mundial que se va a construir en la pared. Eh, donc rappelez-vous, c'est important de faire ressortir des initiatives concrètes qu'on va pouvoir placer dans le calendrier social mondial. It is important to uh, think about uh, concrete initiatives that are going to be uh, put in the uh, walls. If people If you need translation, please don't hesitate to say it. Um, and people, please uh, uh, propose yourself to translate, uh, whisper in translation. Si necesitan traducción, por favor, díganlo. Y bueno, nos autoorganizamos para tratar de traducir y para que todo el mundo pueda participar. Si vous avez besoin de traducción, n'hésitez pas à le dire dans vos cercles pour que um, on puisse s'auto-organiser y uh, que tout le monde puisse participer. Bonne agora des initiatives. So there's two tents. This is the Agora, there's initiatives, Agora initiatives. And um, yeah, this is to have different discussions. This is a migration one. Access to public service and fighting against austerity group. This 
is campaign BDS. I don't know what BTS stands for. This is here. Um, this is the right to education. There's 11, I believe. Um, over here is extractivism, mining, and free trade. Um, yes. Sorry. Sorry. I'm I'm pressed. I'm pressed. I'm I'm just. I'm, I'm pressed. I'm official press. Uh. Fair trade. This is fair trade. Yar, Nicole. Yes, hello. De decolonize. Hello, decolonize North America, but also the Indigenous and Civil Unified Sovereign Enactment, which is the convention, Citizens' Convention of Consent uh, for the Canadian citizens to agree to a two-row constitution with, for the, with the nations across Canada and creating a new constitution uh, completely so that we can have direct democracy on both sides uh, in reference to the Great Law, which is synonymous. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, and which group are you in? Uh, we're actually with MOVE. And it's, it's about a bunch of groups that came together to see uh, we have two projects. And what does MOVE stand for? Oh, <laughs> we're on the MOVE. <laughs> hey, Opa! <laughs> yeah, so what happens is there's two projects. There's uh, Rutneck, and this is a community in uh, South Africa who uh, needed water systems and everything. And then we have a gentleman that's here, a uh, native, native gentleman that's here from... Um, the United States and what he does is he brings people from uh, South Af from Africa and all over and is uh, teaching them about uh, permaculture and all this and they want to do um, year-round uh not permaculture, but uh, year-round uh, greenhouses. Nice. And uh, so, and that's called Plenty for All. So it's about uh, you know uh, making sure that everybody gets enough food to eat mm -hmm. and making everything sustainable. And what I'm doing here, and Eric and the others as well, is that everybody brings something. We have um, Caroline who brings in uh, the investment financing for this uh, that has nothing to do with NGOs and things like that. Um, we've got uh, Universal Alliance that brings in the the uh, open source, uh, not, not op well, open source, but also um, open administration for for the communities to be able to know exactly what's going on in their communities. And what I bring to that is direct democracy, because without direct democracy in the laws, we yeah. need to put people above go governments and governance. That includes the United Nations, who should not be making international laws that supersede our own laws in our own countries and what we want. <coughs> so there's a big misconception about that. Because once, the, if you look at COP21, that would instill international laws on all of our countries, which what, would override our I've only heard of COP21 this week. What is that? It's everybody that went to Paris for uh, the carbon tax and all this. So ah, they're going to okay. tax the big countries to help the little countries. What does countries. COP stand for? So to copy you to death. That's my version of it. Okay. And to me, that's reality. Because that's exactly what it is. It's, it's to make international laws, which is funded by corporations. Because if you look at the uh, United Nations, if you look at the TPP, the United Nations is actually uh, the uh, administrators, basically, uh, the steering committees for the TPP with uh, people from you know the corporate world and everything else and they come together so if you look at the TPP right now it's their doing and yes the United Nations is very much involved in all of these negotiations and uh, actually leading the way and people don't realize what's going on is that these these implementations will over overrule us in our own backyards so they've been misled and it's about time that somebody stands up 
I mean, if you look at what Canada is doing right now with First Nations, you've got uh, yeah. Barry Bellegarde, who went to COP21 with all the Liberals and everybody, and uh, now the, there's, they're making people assume that he's the representative of the First Nations across Canada, which is propaganda. And then they signed a contract, him and uh, Carolyn Bennett, who thinks that Canadians are, you know, we're not intelligent enough to to have a direct democracy, uh, you know, and uh, we've got that live. So anyways, uh, just to, to make a long story short, Canada uh, has, uh, you know, all of the countries and all the corporations need to know, and all of the investors in these corporations, the shareholders, need to know that there is no way that they should be dealing with Canada on any of these trade deals because we are still negotiating uh, the treaties with the nations. So because nothing's been cleared up, nothing's been done, they have no authority to represent themselves. And then band councils are an arm of the government, and the government states that. Part of so, the Indian Act, exactly. the mechanism for colonialism exactly. in Canada. Yeah, and what is AFN? Most of them are band council chiefs. Okay, so they're, they're making AFN, and uh, everybody think that AFN represents the, 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 the people when they do not. They are actually only government agents. Yeah. So this is what we do. Nice, decolonize yeah. well, is the way to go. Uh, you know, we're going to get sued left, right, and center in Canada because our government is represent misrepresenting the people. We are the number one country in the world that is being sued under NAFTA. So wait till to see what happens. Ontario is being sued for billions and of CETA dollars. And TPP yeah. and nasty. They're not even free well, trade. Well, look, look, Hydro One is being sued. Okay, for the the. The solar energy program because we sell to it. The, the public corporate is supposed to be a public corporation, belongs to the people, and because we sell it back to ourselves with the solar energy, we are contravening international law. Welcome to the United Nations, who is, you know, uh, making sure that everybody gathers like this and is misled into wanting global governance without even knowing what they're doing, and, and then, you know, they they're negotiating these deals that have no authority over the indigenous peoples. I mean, they're saying that they're for the indigenous peoples, but why are there international laws overriding everything? And everything is a gentleman's agreement, right? Yeah. So uh, nothing stands up, and the United Nations is what's leading global governance and being paid by these corporations. And if you look at who is the steering committee for Ban Ki-moon, you'll get your answers. Yar. You know, oh, oh, and to finish what I was saying, the World Trade Organization uh, is uh, suing Ontario for that hydro for billions of dollars. Uh, for China, because we are being, um, they, they called it uh, discrimination against other countries to be able to sell Ontario citizens energy in, instead of them being allowed to get their own energy. So this is what we're looking at. Welcome to the United Nations and globalization. Yeah. And it's the highway to hell. Oh! But, but we're, we're here to uh, put a line right in the middle and make sure that the United Nations is going to be for the people because we need to put people above governance, which means on top of the UN, where they have no veto rights anywhere in the world over the people and the citizens. And where's MOVE, the discussion group for MOVE? Uh, we're going to be, we did it, we've uh, been working all week on our convergence on how we can do this. And so which, which circle? Um, right now, I think we're in uh, economics, uh, alternative e economies. Okay. And without, if, if nothing can happen here unless you build a foundation. And the foundation is our direct democracy. Not the one the United Nations is trying to pretend that we're having, uh, where they still have veto power, because, you know, anybody who has veto power of the people, the, that's not democracy. True democracy is what we can have, and it has to be collaborative, and it has to, it, first of all, pure, like what the Haudenosaunee had. Some communities can decide to go, you know, from 70 to 100 percent consensus, and then uh, that nobody, it's the people that rule above all else, and uh, the corporations and governments take the back seat. They're there just to work for the the community. And for the people in the world that don't know what Haudenosaunee is, uh, explain The that. Haudenosaunee is uh, the Iroquois Confederacy, and they hold the uh, oldest living constitution in North America, which is Turtle Island. And uh, when the United States uh, went against Britain and uh, they formed uh, separate colonies, uh, the U.S. Was, became independent, uh, the people had been promised to have identically what the Haudenosaunee had, the Iroquois Confederacy, 
before their constitution, which was 100% consensus. And uh, they told that they'd be able to all sign the, Consti the United States Constitution, but none of them have been able to. It was only the representatives. And so, uh, and that they were going to have direct democracy, and they never got it. So really, the United States Constitution is also a farce. So welcome to reality. Yar. Yes. So we'll catch you later. Catch, uh, go to iaccused.com. I uh, dash accused.com or uh, universalalliance.org and direct and what we've also done is we've launched a direct democracy school okay to give everybody an introduction to democracy and because we it, you know we're more intelligent than what the government assumes we are and we're just about to show them just how intelligent because if they want capitalism we're capitalists for who humanity Yar. so that's the capitalism I want to support alrighty Okay. So, uh, anyways, uh, we'll fill you in on how we can turn taxation into dividends, and that's with direct democ pure direct democracy. Nice. Okay. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you. Yar. So get going. Bye bye. I'm gonna finish going through different groups. This is. Let me uh, go closer. This is disarming finance and reaching justice. This is the media, and they gave me a free Wi Fi uh, stick. One of those things that are plugged in the black one. Okay, and this is. Uh, Extension Dynamics, I don't know what that is. This is Alternative Economies, I think this is the, the move is going to be. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. This is the right to housing and living on on the earth and this is democracy movements okay let me save this and then i'll be right